Woohoo. Nice rail, but now he can be railed off. I like the silent choice. Yeah, Moohu pulling the splinter saw here. Um, doing a good job evading and staying alive. Hopefully he can pull something off here, stack up a little bit, and uh, turn this around. Now, I'm glad that he left that there, but he needs an opening back to a yellow armor. The one below him just spawned. He's made it over to Plasma, but the fact that we haven't seen the lower one grabbed means that purple is probably... Yeah, he's at Mega and just grabbed it. And now he's got the lower YA, so Muhu missed out on some resources and a chance to steal Mega, I think. Or at least uh, to, to get one of more of those yellow armors. Now, he can get red if he does damage here. He needs to basically push purple off, and he's down to 10 health, so it's not going to happen. So back over to purple. You can just run the map at this point. Sitting at 120 and 190. Now, Moo is doing a good job evading um, and doing exactly what you were saying earlier. Popping up and doing that random damage, you know, some rails, some rockets here. Just um, making sure Purple can't just, you know, sit there and say, oh, this is too easy. And just be nonchalant about everything. Um, yeah. But unfortunately, it does run into him right there and eat some rockets and Purple. So he's got to start all over here. Well, uh, the biggest thing that I'm seeing is that Muhu, like, he has an idea of how to evade his opponent, but what he's not quite sure of is um, how to get items away from his opponent when his opponent's going to do something else. You know what I mean? Like, like basically anticipating where his opponent's going to be and then figuring out, okay, if my opponent goes to Mega, then that means I have free armors that I can choose to go get. And it's going to take him... Fr oh, that's a big rocket. But it's going to take him... Uh, uh, yeah. Mm. It's going to take him, you know, so many seconds to go from Mega to, say, Red Armor. Or the Yellow Armor at Portal Yellow. So that gives me this much time to cross the map and get set up for this item. And even if I'm not going to get said item, I'm going to do damage against it. So th those are the kind of decisions that Muhu needs to make. Basically, he needs to play the game that Purple's playing like in his head so that he can imagine where his opponent's going to be and try to anticipate it in order to do damage against the shots. Now, you know, yeah, he is doing a little bit of peak damage here and there, but it's never at a critical moment, right? It's always like, like, see, there's a little bit of peak damage after the red pickup, but we probably won't see Muhu do much damage against purple until he's totally stacked up again. Yeah, there he is. It's another yellow, no damage done there. And so the next one, next item to play for is going to be either Mega or Red coming up at the same time. And this is where, you know, Muhu, if he's been timing things, he'll know that he can do damage and just hold position. Looks like Purple's going to do that instead. Red goes to new Muhu, so we're going to go watch him. He's facing off against a 200, 150 player, so he's got to get the first shot. If he doesn't get the first shot, he needs to leave the fight. And this all kind of comes down to that, uh, the first encounter where they both, you know, where Muhu killed Purple but then fell to the death. I think if, uh, Muhu could have stayed alive, he probably would have been doing a lot better right now. Um, yeah. Yeah, unable to leave this fight, getting some rockets out the ass. Good rockets <laughs> from Purple. Yeah. Um, but I mean, it, it came down to that, I think. Because if, if, uh, Muhu wouldn't have cratered, he probably would have had a good chance, you know, stack back up and um, start running the map a little better, even though he was low on health. Um, but then again, it could have just been the same, you know, where Purple comes out and converts with a machine gun frag really quick. Right. Uh, but, just but delaying the inevitable. You know, yeah. <laughs> so 8-0 to zero as we hit the one minute mark. And uh, Purple so far is looking pretty good in this beginner's tournament. And you could see the aggression on his face. He could actually follow that up because there's no way back to Mega for Muhu. <laughs> He's just waiting in the center of the map. Like, yeah, my opponent will come eventually. Oh, nice pop. And that'll leave frag number nine. 20 seconds left to go. Whiffing the rail and the spawn frag will not happen. 15 seconds. But purple has handedly won the ZTN.
And that'll do it for that first map. Wait, this was the first map, right? Or was it the second? Yep. Are you eating some more of the garden salsa chips, man? I'm sorry, they're like crack, man. There we go. Furious Heights. Purple versus Muhu. Muhu lost that first map by, uh, what was the final score? Something along the lines of, what, eight? Ten francs? Uh, like nine to zero? Yeah. Prepare to fight. But we're gonna see this one go live, and uh, should be good stuff in three, two, and one. We're gonna watch Muhu out of the gate because uh, it's a pretty good start. Shotgun R A Y A, and he needs to look for rail then rocket. Careful as he goes to rocket. Oh, not even gonna get there. Um, now, okay, he's gotta be quick. He's got about eight seconds until red. Oh, that's a huge rocket from purple. Oh. And, uh, you know, honestly, Muhu, though, if he's, see, he's, he needs to be thinking about red armor. And he finally gets a rocket launcher. And, uh, Mr. It took too long. So he'll die here. Oh, he'll blow himself up. Not give purple the satisfaction. <laughs> That was a good job by Purple from that, on the opening. Really, really coming out strong now. Yeah, nice anticipation by Purple. Spots that uh, Muhu basically waited around at red that he's not even going to get anywhere close to getting. Um, the armor to grab is going to be the yellow uh, that is currently up underneath the Mega Health. But without weapons, Muhu really can't do it. He should be going up this jump pad to get RL. Now he's too late. Caught. That's actually a pretty good shotgun blast. He needs to be careful. Yeah, big shotgun blast. And sticking around for red might be costly, but he's done enough damage he might be able to get it. Yeah, he did. Okay. So now here, this is his window back into the game. He knows he needs RL. So he comes up and grabs that, but he knows he's facing off against a 100 slash at least 50 armor opponent. He doesn't have LG yet. And his opponent has rail. Alright, now he got out of that fight. So. Next place, honestly, he needs LG. I would have turned the corner and gotten LG there. Because there, there's so many fights that you can pick on this map with LG where another weapon just does not do. Sticking around for Mega. The issue here is that now he doesn't have good weapons to attack Mega. Like, that, that's the problem. And he's almost, almost gets shot off. And he finally gets torn down. So, um... You know, taking that LG to LG, that actually would have been a pretty good fight. I don't think he did really any damage with those rockets. But an LG-LG fight can push your opponent out of the room pretty pretty quickly if you uh, use it to block the door. You know, kind of just stuff your opponent back into the doorway. Um, so yeah, definitely get an LG on this map whenever you have an opportunity. Nice rockets. It's a pretty good from Muhu here. Yeah, that was the first really big one, though, yeah. Um, and a lot of those were just little splashes, so it was actually kind of either way. I mean, Muhu got away with 18 health, and Purple knows he did a lot of damage. I mean, that's really, really good um, anticipation by Purple, kind of knowing how much damage he did. Finally, Muhu's going to grab an LG. And he should be looking... He's kind of out for armor at this point, so he should just be looking to survive, grab these shards and then go look to do damage on red, but he's kind of taking too long. He's doubling back. He's not quite sure what to do. RA finally taken by purple. Um, oof, yeah. <laughs> nice. So purple just totally anticipated Muhu there. That was just a nice shutdown. Muhu spawns near RA, which of course is not coming up for another eight seconds. Nice LG from Purple. Purple's walking around with a 33% rail and 33% LG. Now, he did cut off Purple's attack plan by landing a rocket in that corner. So, Muhu... Let's see what armor he can get in on. He, yeah, this is the hard part. He doesn't have armor. He's trying to stick out until red, but he's going to get shot. See, now he's going to see this. Now he'll miss red. Probably. Uh, lucky. Okay. So now, you know, because of Purple's lateness, Muhu has a chance to get in on this. He's missed shots and he's hurt himself 